So today's lesson is going to be multiple conditions. In some cases, we need to combine multiple conditions. Uh, for example, let's say we want to check the check if the age value is greater than eighteen and less than fifty. This can be done by using the double and operator. Basically, double and the ampersand. The double ampersand operator is also known as the logical and operator. So. We're just going to put it in, and boom. The OR operator. So the OR operator is the double um, straight lines. It should be right under your delete key if you're on um, Mac. And basically, yeah, it means um, OR. So if the age is greater than 18, or if the height is greater than 150 then you're good. So what is the output of the following code? So we have these three numbers. Okay, so if A is greater than 100, not true, or um, B is, or yeah, yeah, B is greater than three, which B is, so it's gonna print out A, which is 11. And yeah, so the not operator is the exclamation mark basically. Um, so it says if age is not, it means not. Yeah. Then if x equals 3, the result of the following is so x. Uh, so remember, this is an inclusive. So if this was 3. This would be false, but um, you have the not, which makes it true. Okay. You can chain multiple conditions using parentheses and logical operators. So you can literally just do this and just stack them up and do it. Okay, so fill in the blank. Fill in the blanks to output. Okay. If the temp variable value is between 38 and 36 and 37, I'll put alert if it is not. So, let's see. We have, this is going to be an else, pretty sure. And then this is going to be okay. This is going to be alert. So, if the H and and remember and so and is the double m percent one should be good yeah all right so the lesson takeaways for today are going to be the end operator is the double m percent it combines two so this and that so apples and oranges the or operator um, checks if any of the conditions is true so if it's or so apples or oranges and then the not operator the explanation point is reverses it so it's basically like if it's true when you put that in front it's not false it's the opposite right so the next lesson will be fun we'll cover loops which will allow to repeat a block of code multiple times so here is the practice problem for today. Given the age of a person as an imp as an input, output their age group. Here are the age groups you need to handle. 0 to 11, 12 to 17, 18 to 64. And basically that's it. So this already reads it for us. So if And then if um, if age is greater than or equal to zero, or actually I should do less than, right? Should I do less than? Yeah. So zero 
Yeah. This is the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. If the age is less than or greater than, less than or equal to uh, age, and age. So, um, then system that out the print line and a half child. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste the rest of this um just so it's repetitive, it's very very repetitive. So actually else if Else if, else if this right. else if boom else if twelve or seventeen or eighteen. I'm just going to copy and paste this one in. Uh, I like it doing like that so it looks much cleaner. Um, then we're going to have from 18 to 64. It's gonna be adult. I wonder what's after adult. But anyways, this is the code. Let's run it. Yep, meets all of them. So done. Then so what is the result of this condition when hour equals nine and day equals twenty-three? So hour is nine. So this is false. So this entire thing is false because of the end. And then this. And this is also false. So the whole thing is going to be false, right? Yeah. Alright, that is the end of the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.